Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. Person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. When you tell her... I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. To. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I'll I also miss know worrying that about you. The memory I'll of miss our fights. Well. I'll miss you. And it will, Holly. in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that now you will never that die like from indifference. What you have lead all a been tedious so life. Share with me. Goodbye, Your sweetheart. Of her. Thanks for everything. How she could be stubborn Vivian. and patient, rash and thoughtful. 
how she carried a torch for the old ways. You were a big, a bright, shining star or, um, in this pageantry. shithole of a town. And most of all, and I miss you already. How Gran. Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily. Your Highness. Oh, uh, Sheriff. I'm sorry, I, uh, I didn't see you there. Are you holding up? About as well as you'd think. I haven't had any other, um, it's never been as bad as when you saw me, at least. I was angry at first, when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral, that Holly was getting closure. I wanted that, too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evens it out. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of things, okay? Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I just came to pay my respects, Holly. I don't mean any harm. Oh, really? You have no respect you can pay. You don't care about any of us. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. Won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I know you didn't come here to pay your respects, so... Whatever it is, better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um, 
No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Ah. I got it, dumb! 